Hello everyone, I'm here for a layout, uh, dog and cat, and this I did either this weekend or it was last weekend, I don't remember exactly when I did it, I think I did it this weekend, because I also did, uh, I also did, uh, yeah I did it this weekend, because my brother was here, so I did it Sunday, and then I also did, uh, uh, what is sit, and what is the other one I did? Because I filmed those two. What is it? And I am out of here. So I don't know if I did those two this weekend or if I did it last. I don't recall. <coughs> I may have done some of those Thursday when my husband went to bike night. Anyway, so I'm gonna. So my paper is from Recollections Bright and Basic. I'll show it to you. It looks like this. And I got it from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. I believe so. Although I have seen it at Michael's, but I'm pretty sure I got it from Hobby Lobby. Alright, and I'm going to start with my title. My title is going to look like it blends, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a, pen, a marker, a zig writer, and I'm going to do some kind of doodling on the outside of each letter so it'll make it stand out because I didn't want to shadow it in, in white because I use it's the same paper it's the same color as this yellowish orange here that you see so I'm spacing it out like so. Oops, it has to be down off the top. One thing, if you doodle, make sure your letters don't go all the way to the top or you can't get around them. Alright, so that's going to go Something like that, even though my letters don't look like they're matching. Let me see. Yeah, my cat needs to come way down. I knew that didn't look right. Alright, that looks better. There, that looks more straight. I knew that didn't look right. Okay, now I have my photo mat. <coughs> which is <coughs> excuse me, three and three quarters by five and a quarter okay and I took a brown ink and I inked all the way around the edges I almost looked like a burnt orange uh, but it was brown instead of it brown and then I have this take which is from going places and it's cut at five inches and this is a flower brand that I used instead of an eyelet and ribbon and that's just going to tuck under here and I'm going to leave it stick out but this is going to be where I journal alright and this is going to go I want it to stick out like so about like so alright and then I have I bought these buttons from Walmart and these buttons are come with many different sizes many different styles and so I really liked these large buttons and they coordinate with the paper so nicely alright and then I have a dog which is from Create a Critter he's cut at three inches and I have his each I have his layers popped up on foam here and then on the back oops his tail alright and he goes here and then each of the layers, which is one, two, three, count in the black, there's four. So each layer, you can see. So every time I put on a layer, it was on foam. And then I don't have it popped up on the back. Since all of the other layers are popped up, he's dimensional enough. Alright, let me make, make sure that... And this picture is Haas meeting Murray. 
my black cat. Move it up. Move it out a little bit. Try to center it in the camera angle here. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. It's not going to cover anything other than my tile floor. And we don't care about that. Alright, so it's going to go like so. And I'm trying to carry my buttons. I should do some of that. Uh, what's the problem? my layout I filmed actually I uploaded it today hopefully it uploaded my brother goes to watches my videos as I get them done and I went to watch it and it wasn't uploaded and I ha actually haven't checked it I'm going to see what this will look like forget what it's called it's like a twine kind of Oh my goodness, I unraveled it. Alright, anyway, I'm going to see what it's going to look like. I'll just set it all up here. Because I'd like to do like a, like I'm sewing it. Using this brown. It was kind of a tannish color, I guess. I don't know if I like this because the other ones I have are are actually quite bright. Mm, I don't want to leave them just like this either. No, I don't think I like that because the colors don't go with what I've got. So I'll have to come up with something later. Alright, I'll go ahead and just glue everything else down. And I'll have to set this over here and put it here and roll that up later. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue my title down first. see what I'm doing. Oh man, I tell you what, I'll be right back. I gotta delete some of my videos. I'll be back. Alright, I really need to invest in a bigger card, I think. Alright, I deleted some. Well, I gotta get better at deleting my videos when I, after I put them on my computer to edit and upload, then I usually will go in right then and delete them off and I've been forgetting. Alright, so here we go. Alright. Let's move this down so you can see what I'm doing. I bought a new paper stack while I was at Michael's getting the remainder. Since they were on sale, I wanted to get the remaining cubes that I wanted to get to finish off my scrapbook room. And they had paper 50% off, so usually I'm really picky. I don't just buy a paper pack just to buy them. I gotta know that I'm gonna use the paper. And so. I found a really cute paper stack that I think I'll use. In fact, I'm thinking on this thing about getting a second one. It's Mosaic, I think. 
something like that. It's really cute. I definitely will use it. Come on, tweezers. Definitely will use it. Hearing any noise, it's Risa here. I need to check on my. Oh, I'm speaking of Murray, I need to check up on his nose, make sure it's not infected with Roxy Bidium. helps really well with letter placement, making sure that you get them uh, where you want them. Alright. And I like this rule because it fits tight up against the paper and uh, so I'm able to like bump the letters right up against the ruler without it sliding underneath like some rulers do. I know I had one that did that. So I like this one. And this one I got um, free. Okay. So next I think I'm going to glue down my photo mat. You know what I did? Oh my goodness. Uh, I put glue on this side. Oh, I hate that when I do that. I just thought to myself, don't put glue on that side. Oh. Come on, paper. Oh, I'm going to end up bending it. Goodness, this glue comes off. All right. Oh, there's my husband. All right, well, I'll finish this tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye. All right, everyone, I'm back with this layout that I started yesterday, and then my husband came home, so I'm going to finish it. I, in the meantime, went ahead and I doodled around my letters. Oh, cat. And I doodled around on my title. So it helps it to, you know, stand out a little bit. So it doesn't blend. Alright, and then I have these guys. And I went ahead and tied a bow on my buttons. And that's all I pretty much have left to do is... Glue everything down and play tire with the dog. Um, glue dots. 
All right, so these buttons are gonna get put down with glue dots. Okay, like so. And I'm gonna put several on these. Since it is, oops, that's not what I meant to do, not there. There. And with the middle one. Oh, well. Alright, so and that's just going to kind of get centered right there. And it's easier to take the glue dots on my finger and put them down. Alright, and then that one's going up here at the top. one. Oh, come on. All right. And then, last of all, I have these to glue down. Come on. All right. Oh, it's not going to come out. His tail. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Come on. I still have a small chunk of dry glue in the nozzle or something. She was up here a minute ago. All right. And big go here. Down at the bottom. And the kitty. All right, and that is that. All right, so that completes this layout. Let me zoom out. All right, so this completes the layout, and I thank you for watching. This is what it looks like without the picture. 
And I thank you for watching, and I will be back soon with a layout of Roxy. Bye.